once again to an edition of the Red, Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Eskins along with Jennifer Brown Day and we are plugging through the summer. We are. It's almost halfway gone. <laughs> it's like it's one of those things that you snap your fingers and it's gone. Absolutely. Everybody's been enjoying vacations and the weather I think though from what I'm seeing on Facebook and word of mouth. Well, one good thing word of mouth can sell houses. Absolutely. So when you're out and you're driving and you want to do that Sunday drive, mm -hmm. One thing I want to mention before we get started on our listings is go to your favorite neighborhood mm -hmm. and if that's the place you wanted to, to live or you want to move your family to and there's a sign in the yard, it doesn't have to be Red Brandon Williams for you to, to, for you to help them out. Oh, not at all. The great thing about Eastern Kentucky is that we do co-broker our listings. So a realtor from any company can show you any other company's listings. And that whether that's us or whether that's another company, I know that the realtor that they call will be more than willing to help and get them in that house. Well, let's show them five houses in the next few minutes that they would want to call you about. Sounds great. <laughs> okay. The first one is in Prestonsburg. Uh-huh. This is a brand new listing. I actually uh, just finished getting it on the computer today, so it's a, it's a brand new one for everybody to see. This is a house down at Weddington Lane in Prestonsburg. Mm -hmm. Do you know where that is? Is that near the Allen Red Light in that area? It is. Between in the, there and Jenny Wiley? It is. Okay. It's on, in that area. You turn right there at the Allen Red Light. If you're coming from Pikeville, you're going to turn mm -hmm. right. And then you go, you pass the little town sign for Emma and take that bridge to the left. And it's in that neighborhood over there. So if somebody likes to fish or boat or anything, mm -hmm. even like the recreation that Jenny Wiley State Park offers, you're very close coming from that end. Absolutely. And you're actually right on the river. So if you wanted access that way, you also could probably pull that one off. And, and one thing we were talking about before, this is only if you come from the 23 side, mm -hmm. it's only three miles yep. off of US 23. Absolutely. So you have very easy access depending on if you're going to Prestonsburg, Allen, Pikeville, whichever area you're going to up and down US 23, this listing has great access to it. Well, the outside sounds great, mm -hmm. but the inside I'm seeing is very spacious. It is. This is a four bedroom house. It's almost 2,000 square feet of living space. Um, and then you've got two bathrooms on the inside of the house. Mm -hmm. The really cool thing about this house, if you have one of those husbands that likes to tinker in the garage or uh -huh. likes to go out and get muddy on the four-wheeler and all that kind of stuff, you actually have a full bath in the garage that's separated from the house. And that's also where the utility room is. So it's very, very convenient out in the garage. And I see that they've done a lot of updating. They have. This one, they uh, have owned it since around 2009, and since that time, they've just continuously updated it. So it's got newer appliances that are stainless steel. You've got a newer hot water heater. They did a brand new septic system when mm -hmm. they moved into the house, new heat pump on the second floor, and then they've updated the bathrooms with new flooring and fixtures and that kind of stuff. Well, this one sounds like one to see. Mm -hmm. If you're in Pike County, if you're in Floyd County, this one's going to meet your needs. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. This is a great house, and they've priced it very, very well, so hopefully we'll have some interest from it. Just under $140,000 for everything we just talked about. That's correct. It's listed at one thirty seven five, and again, that's a great price for this size of house, and especially in that area. All right, and if you want to give Jennifer a call on this one, one zero five. 588 is that MLS number. They'll be able to pull it up real quickly and schedule that appointment. Absolutely. Now, let's stay in Floyd County. The mm -hmm. next listing we're going to talk about is in Fox Bottom. Uh huh. And that's in the Herald area, right off US 23. You can't get any closer without actually being in the middle of 23. Yeah, and 20, almost 2,500 square feet, so this mm -hmm. is a large home. This is this is an older house. The original part's an older house, and then they've added on to it multiple times. So it has a lot of the older house charm that we've talked about with other listings in the past, and then they've done some additions to add on additional space. The really neat thing about this house is one of the additions I was telling you about is a two-car mm -hmm. garage, and then on the top of that, they did second floor master suite. It oh, is wow. a 28 by 30 space. It's a master bedroom, a full bath, and a walk-in closet. So if you wanted a separated master suite, very easy to do. Mm -hmm. If you also want a recreation area, if you want a playroom that's not in the main part of the house where you don't want to have everything cluttered, it's also perfect for that. So I'm thinking sports fans, mm -hmm. you want to bring the friends over, you could do an indoor theater. Absolutely. You could Has, do so much. 28 by 30 is huge. It's a massive room, a lot of space that you could really make good use of. You've got the two-car garage. Mm-hmm. 
which is great for you know the bad weather. It's nice to be able to come out in the winter time and be able to get right in your car and not have to scrape snow off your windshield. Absolutely. And then this one has quite a few extras. It has an attached shop building, uh -huh. which has been an active shop in the past. It's not currently. But um, if somebody had an interest in doing some kind of store or something like that, or they could just use it as a really large storage space, that's also an option. And then the really cool thing about this one that I'm sure everybody's seen on the pictures is the pool. Yeah, we're going to save the best for last on this one because mm -hmm. it is summertime. We're in the heat of the summer, so those in-ground pools, I would bet, are attractive. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's got a really nice in-ground pool, and then they've got a garden space with a picnic area and two fish ponds back there. It's a really, really neat backyard. I bet this is a good place to unwind after a stressful day. Absolutely. Absolutely. So they've taken some time into paying attention to not just where you sleep, but mm -hmm. where you live. Absolutely. Something worth definitely looking at. This one's mm -hmm. at Fox Bottom at Harold. Like she said, all that we just talked about for $125,000. That's correct. Now, this is your listing, so they can give you a call? Absolutely. You can call me in the Pikeville office at number 606 437 2333. All right. Well, Jennifer, hopefully you'll get some calls on that one. But if not, <laughs> let's move. If you're more looking for something in the Pikeville area, we've got mm -hmm. that for you, too. This one's on Derby Street. This is on Derby Street. Again, another brand new listing. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that we got to do a couple new ones today. But um, it's on Derby Street. If you're not familiar with that, that's right off Jefferson Street in downtown Pikeville up on the hill. Okay. So that is just off the boulevard. Mm -hmm. So if you're, you're coming into Pikeville and you want to just kind of get out of town a little bit, but stay in town. This is the house for you. Yes, and the really neat thing about this house, it is downtown. You're in walking distance to U Pike and to the downtown area, but this house actually offers privacy. You have a lot of privacy that you would not imagine that you would get in downtown Pikeville. And a lot of people from Pikeville will understand. They may not know Derby Street, but mm -hmm. when you say it's off of Jefferson Street. Exactly. Um, and that is on the end of town near the McDonald's area, not uh -huh. the, the way the boulevard runs, it's on one or the other, but this right. is not far off of 23. Not at all, not at all. So you've got everything that downtown has to offer, which is mm -hmm. great for our festival times. Exactly. And as we grow, we've got more festivals and more things to do. You know, bicycles are mm -hmm. popular. I've seen bicycles coming in and out of that area, so. Yep. Great for the active family. Exactly, exactly. And then, like, it has tons of space on the inside. So not only do you have the privacy outside, this is a four-bedroom house with about 1,900 square feet. Uh, it's got two full baths. The people who own it have actually done a fairly recent addition of a two-car garage with a master suite over top of it that includes a large bedroom, Honestly, a master closet that's bigger than my own bedroom I have <laughs> and heard a bathroom. You talk about this master closet. <laughs> it's a nice master closet, very large. And the outside of this house has mm -hmm. a lot of decking. It has a lot of decking, and then you have additional storage space because it's got an unfinished basement uh, under part of the house as well. So if you needed the additional storage, you've got that. You've got the outdoor space with the decking. So it's got everything that you'd need. You know, and more and more times you see how much people are using that outdoor space. Mm -hmm. It extends the, the square footage. It's not counted, but a lot of people spend just as much time in the evenings and the mornings outside as they do on the inside. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this one's your listing. What if someone mm -hmm. wanted to email you versus call you? What's your yeah, email? Yeah, they can give me a, uh, send me an email at jbrown at rbnw.com. Now, this listing on Derby Street, one sixty nine nine. Mm -hmm. so not a bad price. Not a bad price at all, especially for downtown Pikeville. All right, one definitely to look at if you're interested in staying in downtown with a little bit of privacy. Absolutely. Now, this one that we're going to talk about now has just been reduced, and it's uh -huh. at Kinnikinick. This is at Kinnikinick, which if you're not familiar, one, if you can't even say it, which is a lot of people you have that issue. The sign. Yeah, this is one for everybody to remember the MLS number on if they okay. want to call because they may not be able to say the name. But um, it's actually in the Mullins area. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you're leaving Pikeville, uh, north on 23. It's uh -huh. going to be on the right hand side It'll of the road. It'll be on the right. Um, just a as you get past the shopping and coal run. Correct. Correct. Sits on the right and this one is it's a great house. It sits on about an acre of property. Mm -hmm. You have a really nice size front yard and then you've got a fenced backyard that's that's an incline. It's, it's a hill but they fenced it in and it's extremely usable for pets or anything like that that you'd want to have. And this one also has a wraparound deck around three sides of the house and the oh. whole back section is actually covered. They've got a mount to put a TV up there. They've got ceiling fans. So you have a really nice outdoor space like we were talking about with the last one. Out, I mean, is that something you see a lot more outdoor living spaces? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Becoming very popular. And again, like you said, we can't add them in the square footage 
per se, but people really, really want an outdoor space to where they can have, they feel like it's an additional room, you know? Yeah, and, and on the inside of the house, you know, you've got hardwood flooring. Mm -hmm. Um, a new kitchen. They've mm -hmm. updated their cabinets. Mm -hmm. I think Mauser cabinets. Mauser cabinets. Uh huh. And then it's got crown molding. It's got newer bathrooms in it. So they've really updated the house with with all the stuff that anybody, you know, you go into something. This is a 1950s, 60s built house. So there's some things that you have to do, but they went above and beyond, especially with the kitchen and bathrooms. And this close to Pikeville, mm -hmm. saying there's an acre of property and this nice of a home for under two hundred thousand dollars and that's going to raise some eyebrows exactly exactly and they again like we said this one was just reduced they reduced it down to 185. all right one worth looking at now we say it's in kinnikinick <laughs> so jennifer mentioned when we started this listing remember this mls number one zero five two seven four that's all you have to tell them when you call they'll pull it up they'll talk to you about it and hopefully schedule an appointment absolutely okay now let's end with our last listing one we've talked about before, mm -hmm. but this one is, is worth talking about again. This one's at Boulders East. Yes, and the reason I wanted to talk about this one so bad today is we're kind of on an outdoor space kick, and this mm -hmm. one has wonderful outdoor space, so I wanted to make sure that we definitely hit it today. And this is one that we, when we mentioned it before, mm -hmm. the location, let's just say where Boulders East is. Okay. Now, Buckley's Creek, most uh -huh. people are familiar with Buckley's Creek. If mm -hmm. you're leaving the Pikeville side and you're going up, when you get to the top, You've got the red lights, mm -hmm. which will right-handed will take you back into Pikeville on via Town, Town Mountain, Mountain Road. Uh -huh. If you look left at that red light up on the hill, yep. that's where this house is. Exactly. So one mm -hmm. thing that has blown my mind about these lots up there is they're a lot bigger than what you can see from the four lane. Absolutely. I highly recommend, you know, we always tell people go drive by, and we started the mm -hmm. show out with telling people to go by neighborhoods. This neighborhood is so deceiving from the from the road. These lots are very good size, and you would be shocked at how much space is behind some of the houses. You know, this one has room for a huge backyard, mm -hmm. and it's summer, so let's go ahead and say in-ground pool. Exactly. This one has a gorgeous in-ground pool. It's got a very nice patio area, and then you still have fenced-in yard space past that. So you have a lot more space than most people would ever imagine. And it's a relatively newer home. It's mm -hmm. built in 2010. Yep, built this in 2010. This whole neighborhood is new. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much everything up there is, is going to be uh, that or newer. But um, like you said, it, it has so many great amenities. This is really one that people shouldn't pass up looking at. And with 2,500 square feet, four mm -hmm. bedrooms, two and a half baths, you can accommodate larger families. Exactly. And to kind of pair with the outdoor space, mm -hmm. you have indoor space on the first floor that's extremely open. So you've got a family room with a fireplace open to your dining area, open to your kitchen, which all looks out on that gorgeous backyard. And open floor plans are always popular to be exactly. able to show. Exactly. But you've got the good neighborhood if you want to get out and you've got a bicycle or you've got the stroller, whatever mm -hmm. it is, you've got to be able to be able to go up and down the road. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's a great, great area. Mm -hmm. It is. All right. This is one worth looking at also. We've mentioned it before, but Jennifer said today this is one definitely going to look at again. Absolutely. And all that with the in-ground pool and the square footage and the four bedrooms for $279,000 at mm -hmm. Boulders East, which right off Buckley's Creek, that's which correct. is technically not in the city. It's not in the city limits. It's close, but it's not there. Well, that's attractive for some people. Exactly. All right. One more time. Let's, instead of giving your email address or your phone, let's mm -hmm. give the whole website for the company because okay. all of these listings and more are there. Absolutely. That website is www.rbnw.com. And like Shannon said, all of our listings are on there. And you can also click on the EKAR link on that site, mm -hmm. which takes you to every listing in Eastern Kentucky by our local board. Which you can show. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you welcome those calls. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Jennifer, thanks for a second. I'm going to step out, let you get settled, because it's time for your real estate minute. Sounds good. Thank you. Are you ready to list your home? If so, let's discuss what you should do before showing your property. First, let's focus on curb appeal. Stand out from your house and make notes on items to improve. Don't focus on the big ticket items. Focus on small, functional items in your yard and on the exterior of your house. Look for shrubbery, flowers, trim paint, cleaning the driveway, and other items that can make a great first impression. Second, on the interior of your home, focus on the entry. You want the first impression to be the best impression. 
Remember to focus on more than looks. Remember the smells and sounds that welcome possible buyers into your home. Lastly, focus on clean, neat, and open rooms. Hopefully, these items will make your showing successful. Remember, Red Rhino Williams Real Estate Services is honored to assist you with all your real estate needs. Thank you for joining us for another show.